Yo, what's up everybody? For the past couple of days, I felt a little down, so I haven't really been active on here, but um, to let you know what I've been doing lately in my recovery is I've been doing a lot of uh, studying on the African continent, you know, Guinea, the country in Africa, Guinea, West African country just experienced a coup last week. Um, Nigeria is currently going through some, some I don't know, I don't, I don't want to get into that right now. What I want to get into is this whole Taharka Bay uh, possible agency situation, okay? First of all, an agent is someone who fits the psychological profile of someone that you wouldn't expect to be a person with insidious objectives. An agent is, the, is a person who's normally so good at blending into the community, someone who's so good at gaining your, 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 your trust, gaining your comfort, gaining your, um, not even gaining your attention, because they're just so good at doing what they do, they just appear to be somebody who's normal and genuine. That's an agent. An agent isn't a person who's fishy, somebody who's consistently giving you warning signs, the agent is always the person that you least expect. You know, that's the cliche. Taharka Bay, as we all know, has been banging on Sinetta for months, months, and years. He's always called him out on his on his uh, suspect behavior. He's always called him out on what he assumes to be scam-like behavior. He routinely criticized Sinetta for some of his backwards behavioral practices and he's he took that same mantle against Polite. Even before Polite was charged with pedophilia Taharka Bay was one of his fiercest opponents. He would always keep him in check when it came to the potential scamming that he was doing. He would always fact check do detailed investigations into not only polite but anybody involved in the conscious community who may be a potential scammer of the people. Taharka Bay was basically a champion of the people and he was he set himself apart from everyone else because he was very good at doing research. He was very good at pulling up records, pulling up old information, pulling up nuanced, detailed, biographical information that these people who might be potential scammers had to be accountable for stuff that the average person like you and me don't have access to or would have a hard time finding through a simple Google search. So I've always saluted to Harker Bay because he's always been a champion of the people. Plus he lives in Maryland, which is a state, one state away from me. But it's odd. A man that's challenged the conscious community his entire YouTube career, all of a sudden gets on a three-way phone call with Sonetta two days before Brother Polite is set to go to trial. And he strikes up a deal telling Sonetta that he would stop talking about him completely. You can argue that talk to Harka Bay, like he said, is the kind of person who won't talk about you unless you talk about him. And he doesn't go after people initially or originally. He only responds and he's only reactionary. And if you go at him, he's going to go hard at you. You can say that's his position, or you can say that it's mighty, mighty suspect that a man that's banged against the conscious community his entire YouTube career, somebody who's pulled the files, went into the backgrounds, dig deep to prove that these people were scammers, is all of a sudden striking deals in the midnight hour of Polite's trial. And of course, we all know that Polite has turned against Sonetta, in his live streams recently, he's pretty much, uh, without mentioning Sonetta's name directly, he provided plenty of clues of who he was talking about in directing and criticizing Sonetta for establishing so many different GoFunds, GoFundMes for various objectives that he never reaches, that he never shows the people, that he never proves that he actually completed. So obviously Sonetta is in a position where he needs allies, he needs people to stop talking about him, he needs to stop the noise, he needs to stop people from lumping him in with Polite, and now that Polite is attacking Sonetta, 
Sanetta is strategically looking for allies. You can argue that that's what's going on, and he's reaching out to Taharka, whose YouTube channel has recently seen a surge in popularity. Over the years, he would traditionally get 1,000 views at the max. Now he's routinely getting 30,000 views per video. So he has a big voice at this particular time, and Sanetta got him to shut his mouth. Who knows why? Taharka Bay has turned against Inky. Or you can argue that Taharka Bay simply wanted to hold Inky to the flames, hold him accountable, give him an opportunity to explain himself to the people with his platform. Or you can say that Taharka Bay was a little too hard on Inky. He could have gave him an opportunity to explain his suspect behavior in the past in a more compassionate way, in a more understanding way, especially considering the fact that they were a duo on YouTube for the past couple of weeks teaming up to discuss content much to the happiness of the people because they liked their dynamic they liked their relationship together they liked the vibe that they cast it out together they did it they were a pretty good team you know then all of a sudden Taharka got to a point where he was really really tough on Inky and he would not allow Inky to answer questions in a way that he deemed unsatisfying so, I'm just looking at the conditions, looking at the circumstances. I'm not jumping to any conclusion, but I do think it's odd that in the midnight hour of Brother Polite's first initial court case, Sanetta has strategically picked up a partner in Taharka Bay, somebody who's been defined as an anti-conscious community personality. It's just odd, you know, so pay attention. And like I said in the beginning, an agent is somebody who you least expect. They gain comfort of people just like your mother does. It's like somebody all of a sudden coming to you saying your mother was the agent the whole time. Every time she was around you, she was recording you, she was working against your interest the whole time and you thought that was your mother. That's that's the kind of vibe that agents give off. That's the kind of vibes that they have. That's the level of comfortability that they build in people. Peace.